guys welcome to sociology my name is Carrie this is my channel um, I'm in my storeroom again <laughs> um, but I wanted to introduce this um, video because there's lots of little bits going on and I noticed when I was putting bits together it made up little videos so I'm trying to do one all together so this is my introduction and then of the end as well so um, it's just um, showing the cashmere patterns in the book um, that I did previously. Um, me tracing out one of the patterns, which is I think the Ardley dress or the Armley dress. There's a little bit about fabric choice for the first dress, which I for some reason didn't trace off, I traced off the other dress and not the Montvale dress. I didn't do the Montvale dress, probably should have done that first. Uh, but I went straight to the Ardley dress, I think it's the Ardley dress. Um, so anyway, um, but I do show you some pattern fabric suggestions, one, one fabric suggestion for that dress. So that's in there as well. So I just wanted to introduce the video because um, there's lots of little choppy things in there. So this has got a proper beginning now. So uh, anyway, hope you'll enjoy and um, see you at the end. So I've opened out the patterns and they don't all fit on one page like you see the only dress is this is for the lining and it's only up to the waist so I guess you have to add that on and it's double sided um, and like here it's those tape to front skirt here before cutting so and then this is for the EF cup so now I've got to find the D cup all right hmm I thought they were all just going to be separate pieces of pattern and that just that pattern would be on it but okay let's see if we can find the others okay so here it's got it tells you what's on here so the only dress the Fairfax jacket and the Montvale dress tunic so 1C front sleeveless, only 1A front A and B. Right, let's open it up and have a look. So here's my tracing paper. I'm gonna try and attempt to trace off the only dress. And I did measure and their 30 was way too wide. So I'm gonna go for my usual um, big four pattern and I'm going to try a US 24 oh, and just see I mean I might not even need that to be honest mm, I'll do a twirl excuse the hands I've been dyeing fabric Thank you. 
Okay, so now I've just traced off this part. Now it's telling me to... <sighs> Sorry, there's tracing papers under there. Uh, Elmy dress 1A front A attached to Elmy dress 1A front B. So now I've got to attach this and find the other part. That Okay, I found it. Guess what it was? On the same sheet as I cut the original. Duh. was just a mishmash of um, opening the patterns and uh, seeing what they're like and how to um, trace them out and uh, just how they're displayed so I did have a little bit of trouble finding the um, patterns because I didn't look at what was on each sheet but they are actually quite together so for the tops there's the top part and then there's a little the extra bit that doesn't fit on is on the reverse side but there's a little box at the top of each sheet that tells you what they are and whether it's the front or the back or whether it's the lining or whether it's um, the cup sizes as well so um, it's actually very well planned but there's a bit of whinging going on when I'm <laughs> trying to find the patterns but it's not them it's me so anyway I hope you enjoyed this little video and I look forward to showing you more soon um, hope you've had time to sew and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!